welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter, and I'm super excited because today I have a post review. I can't wait. I, I've, I've not been able to wait to share this with you guys. So, finally broke down and um, decided to get it filmed. So, um, where do I start? I mean, just look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's massive. Um, I can't get it all in one picture. I have my little phone camera holder thingy majigger, like as extended up as it will go. So, <laughs> oh well, I'll just have to pan you around and take a little trip. Um, so, this is the um, Inspiration of Spring Meadows by Chuck Pinson. And it's from Diamond Art Club. <sighs> and I did this one for the Chuck Along that happened in March. So, um, I love this one. And if you don't remember, this one was actually gifted to me. So the story behind this actual canvas is that... <laughs> So I totally missed it on Black Friday. This was a Black Friday canvas um, from Diamond Art Club. And I did, I totally missed this one. And there's something stuck to the bottom of the canvas there. Piece of plastic. But I totally missed this one. It was um, cart snatched, I guess you could say, out from under me. So I was devastated. Oh, I was so devastated. Um, so I just figured, you know, I would wait on it to come back in stock and grab it. And it never did. I mean, until just recently come back in stock. But anyway, so lo and behold, around, uh, I think it was prior to Christmas, because it was supposed to be a Christmas gift. Um, it was, hold on just a second. So it was given to me as a Christmas gift. And... Uh, Maritza from Kiss My Crafts had messaged me one day and she's like, so I'm sending you a gift for Christmas and um, let me know when it gets there. I'm like, okay, will do. And she's like, and by the way, this is a gift from me and Urelli from Urelli's Diamond Painting Plans here on YouTube. Uh, they both knew how like sick I was over not getting it. And, um, so anyway, they went in together and sent this to me as a Christmas gift. And I believe Maritza had it and yanked it out of her uh, stash to send to me. But anyway, um, I believe that's what happened. But so um, she sent me the tracking number like a few days later because it was supposed to have been here a certain day and it never showed up. And then... We were both tracking it, and I guess, like, Yoreli and Maritza were, like, both, like, starting to get nervous because, like, the tracking on it had, like, completely stopped. I don't remember where it had stopped at, but it had stopped, went back, like, it traveled all over the place. But anyway, it was way after Christmas when I got it. I don't remember the date that I got it. But I shared the unboxing of it, and I'll post that in the description box um, for you to, to watch if you'd like to. Um, yeah, it was a, like, I cried, dude, when I opened this, this gift up. Like, couldn't hold myself together. But anyway, we're going to talk about the post review. So, again, Chuck Pinson's um, Inspiration of Spring Meadows. And... From Diamond Art Club. This is a doozy of a canvas. It's a big one. Uh, it's a 93 by 70 centimeter, which equals 36.6 by 27.6 inches. And um, it has your legend on both sides, as usual. You can see all of that from the um, unboxing video that I'll share in the description, but uh, just for the post review sake and for because it's so big, um, I'm not going to share the details of that with you because, you know, 
I've already shared that in the unboxing. So for the post review, I'm just going to show you the picture, tell you what I loved about it, what I didn't like about it, that kind of thing. So as you can see, that's the top corner. And we'll pan down to the bottom corner. And then we'll move back up. There's the right corner to the bottom corner, I think. I'm too short to see what I'm actually filming because I have this up so high. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much the whole picture. Um, but look at the details. I mean, seriously, the details are incredible. The smoke coming up out of the chimney right here looks phenomenal. The deer looks good. The bridge looks good. Look at all the flowers. Oh, it's just something else, right? It's amazing. And the mountains are beautiful. This is the actual canvas that everybody kept calling the pink and purple chuck. And don't get me wrong, it's pink and purple. I loved working on that whole section up there. That was so much fun to work. It's a lot of color blocking considering it's a Chuck Pinson, right? We all know that Chuck Pinsons are full of confetti. And Mindy and I had talked and um, had discussed the amount of greens and browns in this picture, so or in this canvas. There are so many greens and browns. Um, we have, I mean, you don't think that there is because that purple is what catches your eye, but there's quite a bit of green and brown in this too. So um, the confetti was all down in the, you know, from here on down. Um, but like I said, the color blocking was all up there at the top. Um, you can see the eagle up there, right there where my finger is. There's the eagle, and then you can see like the shadow of the eagle on the mountains right in here. And then there's a couple little other birds, like there's a bird and there's a bird. Those trees look amazing. Everything looks so good. Right here is a little rocker, rocking chair, like a one of those just, I mean, just a little rocking chair just sitting out in the yard. And then you got your other little chairs up here on the porch of the cabin. You can see all the like rock detail in the chimney and in the bridge here. You can tell that they're made out of, you know, like stones or rock. And then you have this pretty little stream that just runs through here that the deer are stopping to drink from. It's just beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. There's another deer over here. I don't know if you can see it right there. Is a deer. Um, and here's a couple of little butterflies down here. You can see these, I believe these are rocks. Yeah, they look like rocks. And then the pretty little just flowers all over. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then over here are a couple of other little deer. You can see on this side of the cabin right here, right there. But um, let's talk now that you know how beautiful it is, right? Um, I'm going to get a like a video of the shine of it because at the angle that you're at, you're really not able to see the sparkle that this thing has. It is stunning. But I'm going to show you real quick. Um, the only negative thing that I have to say about this canvas. There's one negative thing that I have to say. And it is the amount of trash that is in this kit. Okay. There has been speculation now that um, a lot of the Black Friday kits from Diamond Art Club had issues with their trash drills like just really bad quality drills. Um, I worked on the Psalm 8, which was another Black Friday kit, and it had a lot of trash in it too, and I actually ran out of one color, but Diamond Art Club was on it. They sent me the color I needed quickly, and um, 
So, you know, that was taken care of. I didn't run out of a single color in this. Um, I've actually already de-kitted that or kitted down that, um, this canvas because I needed the storage space. <laughs> I had to kit up another one, you know, but, um, I use this big, like wax macaroon, macaron, whatever you call them, um, to store my drill, trash drills in. So there's quite a bit in there. I'm going to pour them in this tray and shake them out so you can see. It's empty now. Okay. So, can you see the amount of trash in here? There were a lot of, like knobbly bits, a lot of broken pieces, a lot of conjoined twins, a lot of, um, like little stringy pieces of plastic, like right here. Um, and there's another piece. Here's another, like a green piece right here. Um, so there was quite a bit of that. And then there was a lot with holes in them. Um, and then there was quite a bit of like concaved so much so that it was basically just the outer shell um but yeah you can tell there's quite a bit of trash in there so or at least i hope you can tell by looking if some of the ones that look good um through the camera it's mostly because there was a hole in it or it's concaved on the bottom or you know something like that so Anyway, I just felt like that was quite a bit of trash. Uh, but like I said, I had plenty of um, drills left over. And I didn't run out of any colors. Um, I'm going to try not to make a mess here. But um, I have been hearing that Diamond Art Club is actually making their own drills now. Um, I don't really know the like full details of that, like when we're going to start seeing them or how that process is going or anything like that. So if you've heard anything and you want to leave a comment, please do so because Myself, along with anybody else, would love to kind of, you know, know. I guess I could look on the, like, Diamond Art Club Facebook page because they have our group. Because they have a Facebook group for, like, Diamond Art Club members or whatever. I guess I could check there and see. But, um, anyway, that's sort of the, you know, sort of the whole thing. But, um... That was the only negative thing I had to say about any of it. I mean, completely enjoyed, loved every bit of it. There was a lot of ABs in it. However, you know, I mean, it's always good to put more ABs if you want to or sparklers or whatever. I didn't do anything additional or extra to this canvas. Um, although I could have, but I just did not. So, uh, I could always go back and do something if I want to, you know, but... Um, the shine from where I'm standing is crazy phenomenal, but it's not picking up in the camera. So I'm going to take you guys off of this camera holder and just kind of give you a little close up view of the canvas and the sparkle shine of it. So give me just a second. Okay, guys, and I'm back. Just wanted to give you a little of a... Uh view and I'll try to move slow so that I don't make you sick or anything like that. Um, but here is pretty much it's laying off of the whoops, it's laying off of the side of the table here a little bit. Um, you can see up there in the very tip top corner is my unicorn fart card. Uh, but anyway, we have can you see the sparkle, um, like in the flowers right here when I move? Ooh, you can see that really pretty. But I'll get closer so you can see a better view of it. I just kind of wanted to give you a more angled, I guess, view 
It is just magical. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to get down close so you can see at a different angle. Usually, if you set your camera down and slightly angle it, you can see the sparkle a lot more. I mean, look at that. It's just wowzers, right? Beautiful. Sun's coming in the window. Sorry about that. Like the little line glare right through there is just where the windows open. I can't really, you know, do much about that. But anyway, uh, this is what I have. For the up close and personal so i hope that you enjoyed it and her i hope that i didn't make you like seasick okay you guys are back up into the uh camera or back up into the camera holder so i hope that this was helpful i hope that you enjoyed this post review um again if i didn't mention i may not have mentioned this was a square uh diamond painting kit so the drills were uh square and it did have two AB colors. It had a white one or maybe a very soft pink and um, a very soft yellow. Like there was some yellow here and then some of the trees in here in the grass. There was quite a bit of that yellowish green. And then quite a bit of the pink was like up in the, like some of these spots up there. And um, up there in the sky was some you can see right in here are ABs. But um, yeah, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this post review. Um, again, I loved everything about it. Um, Diamond Art Club to me has excellent quality despite the problem with drills as of late um, or the last few months. And um, I guess I'm just gonna like give them grace to get them through their, you know, little issue that they're working through and hope for the best as far as the quality of the drills gets back to what we're used to or even better. So anyway, I hope um, that you enjoyed it and make sure please to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you um, are new here and would like to subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. I'd love to have you here. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell ding 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 to get notified the next time i upload another video you guys have an excellent rest of your day and i'll talk to you guys soon bye